take 10 with Shane and Michelle. HHN fans activate. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Take 10 with Shane and Michelle, an entertaining view of life's magical moments in Florida and beyond. This gang looks oddly familiar. Just a bit. Just a Just bit. Just a bit. We actually have a new addition as well. But um, guys, HHN32, a.k.a. Halloween Horror Nights, in the books. In the books. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> post event and we thought we would do a recap a little review of what this gang thought of the event the highs the lows the fun things the disappointments if there were any and i think we're just going to open it up and let you guys start talking so overall what did you think about this year's hhn i thought it was really fun As yeah this was your gone, first one it's my first yeah. one Megan, okay, first timer, right? Our only first yeah. timer here. Did well, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a kind of a first timer. <laughs> I'm a second timer, I guess. That means second. Well, me too. First. <laughs> Still over yeah, there, like, timers. Yeah. yeah. What did you think, Megan, as a first timer? I had fun. I would go again for sure. It was definitely a fun experience. Okay. Yeah, there's a reason this is a tradition now for us. Uh, <laughs> it's just too fun to pass up. I'd rather do that than anything else. Uh, especially when we go, I think it's a fantastic time to go. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Wasn't too kind of, how many days did you guys go again? We did four, Wednesday right? to Saturday, right? So four. Four, four, yeah, four nights. Four days. Yeah. Katie, what yeah, were it you going to say? Too cra- I would say it wasn't too crowded this year. I don't mm-hmm. feel like it was. We go. Le- okay. We used to go later. Yeah. I, I would feel like it was more crowded. It was well, manageable. Like, mm-hmm. Some of them have felt more crowded walking out than it did walking in. Yeah. That was those sure. were long walks to and from those some of the house locations. I would say. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's my negative. So if yeah. I have any negative, it, it and there's nothing. It's not like they can do anything about it. But you think you've exited the house. And uh, you have about a mile walk to even get back to roughly yeah. the area where you can see what's next. It was right. such a long, and everything converged with multiple houses. Yeah. So hot tip, hot tip, wear comfortable shoes. Yes. Mm. Yes. A lot of walking. Got to get a lot of walking. Uh, Natalie, That's you got sure. anything to add? I agree with Michelle. The walk backs exiting the house this year seems longer than previous years i don't know if maybe i just forgot how long it was but this year definitely felt pretty arduous and oh gosh those lines and i'll get on the yeah. walk back i think there was like more choke points between two houses on the way back than yeah. last year. It's yeah probably why it took so long to walk back because i feel like there was at least four houses like they had two houses going on the way mm-hmm. back with the exit. So that probably is what made it longer, I think. So hopefully less choke points in terms of meeting uh, exits. Yeah, so, you're so right, the choke kind of, points. Didn't notice that last year, but go ahead, yeah, Shane. So I was going to say, so since we're kind of still talking about the low points, so what was the um, like the one that you thought was going to be the best house and ended up being like, oh, wow, that house? I don't know. I have one in mind, but go ahead. I don't know if I had high expectations for this house, but I definitely did not enjoy the Chucky house. Yeah. And I <laughs> heard that's an overall thing with other people who have attended Horror Nights. I... That was mine. Yeah. Well, what, 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 what it was, was the it one I felt Chucky like house? they were promoting the most. Yeah. Which was disappointing Confusing to me that it was i don't know the little puppet at the beginning was very very cool that little animatronic and then it yeah. just kind of went was like yeah. silly but it was silly but not in a fun way like they've done other houses it was just goofy okay. like i don't know it's the photo was gorgeous. cooler but brandon you've watched the show i've only yeah. seen the movies i mean do you feel like it followed the show I feel like it did. well yeah, i followed the show but again it's hard when 
the main, you know, villain is a 36-inch little, little boy where you can't Just really a little it. boy is what I told Shane. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> but, yeah, it makes it hard for, like, there to be a lot of the scares when the main mm-hmm. character isn't really, like, able to be present. In that I was scene. kind of he was disappointed. Overly present. As in, I was like, kind of disappointed actors. by the Last of Us house. It was good. Um, it was very beautiful. I felt yeah. like Visually, I yeah. wish there had been more of Joel and Ellie. Me the too. Characters. Yeah. There wasn't really much of them. So did you think it one. followed? Didn't it follow the game a little yeah. bit more than it followed the it, series? I, I think yeah. it was based on the game and not the mm-hmm. show. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree with Natalie. It was very beautiful. Um, a beautiful set. Um, but yeah, I, I have the same what, favorite house. Let, let's talk favorite. Universal Monsters. Yeah, Universal the Monsters one was really good. And I missed that one. <laughs> oh no! It got yeah. us good. It yeah. did. I feel like it was like just the setting. It was like a little darker. It felt like even inside, and those scares were phenomenal. Especially the, the classic oh, monsters. The classic no monsters spoilers. one have been good the last two years. Yeah, they've been really good. I think it's because. Epic Universe. I don't even know when that opens, but I know that they're building like a Universal Classic Monster area in it. So I don't know if they're like really trying to focus on that stuff because they're gonna. That house freaked me out. It was phenomenal. Oh my! There was one really, really, really impressive scare. Yeah. Yeah. Really got me. Well, I will have to say, was it? the stranger things scene and settings and whatever that I don't, I don't watch the show. I don't, I don't know it, but that scene was amazing. Mm. Like it, that looked like you were right on set that oh, to cool. me. So for us being no, not really knowing yeah. that was my favorite one. Yeah. Um, and Chucky was my least favorite one too. That now, what did we think about the Chucky preview though? Like, Oh yeah. Had- Chucky's twisted cool. playground. What did you think about that? I thought it was cool. I liked it better than the house. Um, Me too. Some really fun photo ops. Um, I I had fun in there. Yeah, yeah. it was enjoyable very much. It was cute and creepy. Yeah, cute and creepy. That's a good description. Uh, <laughs> Shane and I did a little. We did a little photo shoot video walkthrough of it. And for anyone tuning in who may not know, this is a special pop up experience at. Universal Resorts Cabana Bay, and you need to be staying at a Universal Hotel to go, and it is open. I think it was, was it 2 or 3 o'clock? 2 o'clock to 10 p.m., and you just show your room key, and then they let you spend time in this Chucky Twisted Playground experience. So just something to do, something, a place to take photos, poke around a little bit, which, which was kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So we have a little video roll, but the drink was a little bit too good to be true. Like we were like, really remember because the drink was something without the cup. But then when you got the cup, you get eight ounces more of the drink and whatever. So what did we have? We had the purple something and it was really, I really enjoyed the drink that the drink. So yeah. We, we have I, I that. think, those the drinks were they were cool. I don't think there was a drop of alcohol in them. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. They're I, right. They were. Yeah, I don't think they did. Uh, but that's t- yeah, right. that's typical, right? Yeah. An event like yeah. that, they're gonna yeah. keep low alcohol and high sugar. Uh, say there are a lot of sugar. Yeah. Speaking of You're drinks, right. the Dead Coconut Revenge was also really cool this year. I love going to the Red slash oh, Dead yeah. Club. Yes. The ooze was very tasty. Yeah, cool. You know, we didn't really spend as much time in there, I think, as we wanted to. But I highly recommend that people who want a little pre-HHN check out the Dead Coconut Club. Um, and What was it called? Dead Coconut Club Revenge? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah. It, was like, it was like old 3D movie themes because yeah. they had all those aliens in there. Yeah, that was cool. Sure. Um, other highlights of the night. What about the scare zones? I don't know. I was kind of a little disappointed by them this year. 
one there just wasn't as many i don't mm. think there was felt like i think there's a the costumes are always very cool. beautiful mm. and like the prosthetics um i i don't know i had a fun time in the scare zones um the vamp scare zone was really fun. There was yeah. music. Yeah. Everybody kind of joins yeah, in and good. dances together. Mm-hmm. Um, the the costumes again are beautiful in the Zodiac scare zone. What was the scare zone with like the fog that we could not see our <laughs> That was like the jungle theme yeah. one. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, you guys talk about that. Theme. What happened to you guys? Talk about it. I, they just we were right walking overboard. Back. We went overboard in the fog. I mean, yeah. we couldn't even put our hands in front of our faces and see them. So, and I think, and I don't know what, this is our seventh or eighth. I know we talked about that early on. I'm not sure if we're becoming desensitized to the scare zones. Yeah. And that it's more, I remember the first couple of years we went and they came at you with the chainsaws and the, I mean, I was jumping out of my skin. They, and they this year it's all year. about, what's that? Well, they were like two chainsaw guys, but they really weren't jumping out at you yeah. this year. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. What, what does Megan think as a first timer of the scare zone? Uh, I mean, I don't. I didn't get too scared with this. I thought they were cool to look at, but yeah. nothing, nothing really spooked me too much in the scare zones. I definitely got spooked way more in the houses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They were fun. I still. You guys, fun. let's talk about the show. I was getting ready to say that. Well, first off, I have to tell you, it was hotter than Hades in there without the fire even going on. Yeah. Oh, it's my fair. gosh. I was sweating in every body part possible Yes, in that in that show. They packed us all in. Um, and what was the name of it? Fuel something? Nightmare um, Fuel mm-hmm. Revenge. Revenge. Nightmare Fuel Revenge. Very similar to last year. Yeah, it's a it's dance. It's a dance troupe. I don't oh, know if okay. they travel. Um, I know a lot know. of them are Orlando natives. That they're they're performers in Orlando, um, but it follows the same storyline. Um, but with I mean, it's always really fun. It's really cool. Pyrotechnics, sexy dancing, fun. Yeah, music. yeah, yeah. Definitely very, entertaining. Very but you fit. guys, I have to admit, I miss Bill and Ted. Yes. I do. I mean, they, RIP. Well, you and I are the only two that ever did Bill and Ted. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. Neither. It was I very never, I never funny. stopped to watch Bill and Ted when I would go. So, talk funny. about it, Katie. It was basically like parodies of pop culture. And it was always like Bill and Ted from the movie Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And it was always them trying to get, you know, like the movie, they're trying to get back to the present time trying to think of like the plot line of one of them one of them was like kim kardashian was like taking over the world and i don't know it was just funny it was like a nice break from the scares to just like laugh which like we're always laughing anyways but i don't know why they don't do it anymore maybe we were talking uh, about how we wish they had multiple shows that yes. year we went in 2015. Remember Jack show? And then they had the show in the theater. Then they, they, had, used... they had like three or four stage shows plus the enclosed theater. And they walked away from all of that. They were, they were amazing though. Like the, the, what they do, the pyrotechnics. Yeah. Oh, and they do that four, yeah. four times a night. Yeah. yeah that, it, I mean, that's crazy. The calories they burn. Oh my. God. No kidding. And just the the magic of it all, I think, was really like, we're like, where'd they go? How did they yeah. do that? Right. I, I, I always yeah. say that every year. Definitely. I mean, yeah, it was hot, but, you know, that's to be expected when you have thousands of people jammed in a theater. Um, but it, it's always fun. It's always a nice little thing to do. Um, I would what, still give them like five stars. Like that That show yeah. still is top oh, notch. Phenomenal, yeah. Gotta, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a must do if you're going to HHN for sure. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. What about Death Eaters in uh, Diagon Alley? That was new. <laughs> uh, I thought they were fun. I kept trying to get a picture of them and they kept <laughs> running away. They were fast. They yeah. were fast. Yeah, a lot of scare actors are. They, 
it's always hard to get pictures of them. I mean, some will stop, like the guy mm-hmm. that posed in the back of our video. But yeah, I got that them, video. They're like, yeah, yeah. Moving. But I thought that was very cool. I liked that a lot. There was a was lot more there. energy back in Diagon Alley than than previous HHNs because they added that. There were a lot more people I thought that went back there than typical mm-hmm. years. Did you guys think that as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Usually it's yeah. kind of like a, a dead zone, but it's nice because you can sit, relax, drink some butterbeer uh, this year. And it's always cooler back there for some oh, reason. Yeah. <laughs> always feels better. Oh, we it did. did. It, felt, it felt cooler back there. It definitely yeah. felt nice. There was another like little dance. We did the Megan, Megan Horton. Brandon, I kind of saw it. The Megan, the like dance oh, that yeah. movie about oh, that. Yeah killer robot girl i don't know if you saw any trailers for it It was very silly but they had like a little dance thing for it but people were like crowded around it we couldn't see it we we tried (laughs) we tried we tried you guys give people give people advice how many nights so people who might be watching who've never done hhn before how many nights would you recommend for somebody planning a trip that's not a local right like Mm -hmm. you you guys all i mean except for, you know, you know, Shane and I, Natalie, you drove up, but you still had several hour drive. Mm -hmm. How many nights to get the full HHN experience would you recommend people who might be traveling from out of town? Full experience? Three nights. Three nights. Okay. So that'd be a minimum. Three. I would say at the very minimum, squeeze a lot of things in two. But if you want to like take things slow, don't feel as like rushed three nights three nights say, okay. we're kind of three, leisurely yeah. we're kind of leisurely people sometimes i mean if you're like you could do it all in one night yeah i don't know if i would feel like you'd get the full experience but you'd be able to do all the houses mm-hmm. yes yeah and the standby lines um i thought the app was really helpful yeah, uh, to, to be able to check as we were going from house to house, they changed quite regularly the times. I mean, you would look at one time it'd be a hundred minutes, and then it'd be thirty-five. Yeah, a few, you know, twenty minutes later, just because the ebb and flow. So definitely recommend. I think they might overestimate a little bit. We didn't test that as much, though. We did a lot of express. Mm-hmm. And we didn't do standby lines as much, but I heard some people saying that maybe they were inflated a bit. As the night went on, mm-hmm. the line seems to be having shorter waits. Yeah, yes. we, uh, yeah we noticed that too. Yeah, we got in pretty late. And again, they're open until 2 a.m. So the crowds do kind of like dissipate at the end of the night, like maybe 11-ish. I think the crowds start to to leave. Now, yeah. we- I don't know. I feel like everyone leaves at two, though. Sometimes when you leave at that two, it's like the big rush. Big rush walking out, getting on the bus. Well, but they didn't. Don't they just close the lines at two? If you're in the line by two, you can still get through. Yeah, I think that's what they do. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that before. And then you can close out the house. That's also fun to do. This this person here, who typically goes to bed at. 9 30 in the morning le- i mean excuse me 9 30 at night it's like wow uh, what a night out <laughs> 2 a.m is really pushing it you know i had one Amen, drink- sister <laughs> no go ahead well i was gonna say one thing we didn't talk about i think we had a lot of fun with our outfits yeah, so yeah. another recommendation oh. that we give to people is have fun with themes and outfits um i know and i'll put in i'll put an image in here the very first night our group went as um stranger things we so did. We... did i tell you what the did i tell you what the security <laughs> guard said to me no i don't well because like 11's outfit is very like ugly that's on purpose yeah. right yeah. she's weird she doesn't know how to dress and the security guard i walked through he goes uh interesting it was so funny. oh that's well that's exactly the reaction you wanted then if you were doing it right so we did that so that was fun Shane and I coordinated when we um, did our night together. We wore um, 
skull dresses. We had a lot of people ask us where we got those. We'll put in the show notes the link to Amazon for our outfits. We got our jewelry from places like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. It's a great way to find fun, festive themed jewelry to add to your outfits. You guys did some 70s. Uh, you did, Brandon, you like themed your your Chucky when we went yeah. to the Chucky experience. So have fun with the clothes, I think. It's part of the experience. Yeah. Um, the other tip is uh, the some rides are open. Mm -hmm. So it is a nice while you're waiting to see yeah. if you want to go into a house. We did the men in black a couple mm -hmm. of times while you're waiting to go for a return Money. time. Um, was it Gringotts? We did that. What else did we do? Some they of us did mummy. The, mummy. I was too tired. the mummy. You guys did mummy. Um, so yeah, there that. are a few things that are open that, you know, short lines and stuff like that. So that's kind of fun. I heard a rumor that they might be expanding it into Islands of Adventure. Has Ooh. anyone heard that? I have not. It is for me. Okay. I will, uh, <laughs> between this time, this post, I will look into it and just see if it was just something that, I don't know, I made up or um, I actually heard it. But I thought that that would be interesting to have it on that, in that park. I mean, I have had it. it. They, they have had, had it there in the past. There okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's good. Well, you guys, I took the, 32 years, like 32 God, years, no. right? 32 years. Mm -hmm. So I think it was a, I'm just going to, I'm, it was a 10, five stars, whatever. I, no matter what you have fun. So we yeah, had, yeah, a, yeah. We had a lot of fun. Blast, it yeah. is. I agree with you, Shane. It's just a fun event. It's a lot of fun to do with the big group. Yeah. Great destination. Highly recommend staying on property. Um, and we'll be doing it again, right, guys? Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like this Friday. <laughs> oh, you're going back, Natalie. Oh, you yeah. get to you. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to say to people is your, your rush of fear ticket still good on Friday? Yes, okay. for the whole okay. month of September. Uh, oh. oh, it is. I thought it was only good for the first 17 nights. Well, for all of September, the first because it's Wednesday through Sunday. Oh, Wednesday through. Oh, that would be the first seventeen. Awesome. Yeah, it's like I I highly recommend that ticket. I think it's an excellent value. Mm -hmm. They only How offer much was in September. It? How much? One seventy nine. One seventy nine. One seventy nine with tax. It came out to one ninety. Yeah, that's and so, so good. we used four nights of it with our group. Um. You're going to use, and you used, uh, Natalie, use three nights, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'll use more nights. So mm -hmm. that's great. Um, yeah. So overall, that that was a really, really good deal. I'm so glad they have those multi-night tickets. Yeah. I think my and, single day ticket was like 79. Given yeah, her. right. So that's definitely a good deal. It is. It it's a nice deal. Nights. Yep. Um, they do have um, special, which Jack almost always does. I don't think he got into any this year, but they're uh, the, what are they called? The RIP behind the scenes. Yeah. I oh, really yeah. I was going to gonna that say one that's one thing I've always wanted to do. Cause yeah. that's always, even if a house doesn't scare me, mm -hmm. I love looking at all i mean the amount of detail they put yeah. into stuff is yeah. just so insane yeah and these tours are with the lights on so you couldn't really like get a chance yeah. to look at everything you don't have the scare actors jumping out at you like you're literally just walking through the house with the lights. i on. think that would be fun to do one year uh for sure and i think one thing when people say oh it's just a bunch of haunted houses right every city every small community at Halloween has their haunted house. This is a full working movie studio yeah. that is putting houses together. So they are not your fly by night, typical small town haunted house. Those yeah. are fun. Yeah. These are productions. I mean, they work on these all, they work on them all year. All year, all year. So um, I know we're coming up to time, you guys. I appreciate everybody jumping in to do a recap. Um, I think that we all gave it a thumbs up. Any closing remarks, final thoughts, things that we didn't talk about, about HHN 32? Did we talk about the food? Barely. We Was didn't there really something eat. that stood out? Yes, what stood out? 
The ravioli was good. Um, the cordyceps, the um, in the the Last of Us ravioli was tasty. Mm -hmm. um, it had a cool can, right? I'll try to yeah. put a picture of that yeah. in here. Um, the iced coffee was good. Natalie, pronounce the name of the dessert that I never got to have. <laughs> Dulce de leche. Okay. Uh, it must have been really good because they were always sold out by 8 p.m. It was at Today Cafe. Anyone watching this between now and November 4th when the event, go <laughs> as soon as it opens. It's in the front of the park. Go to Today Cafe and get that darn dessert. dessert. Put in the comments how much you <laughs> loved it and how much I missed out on it. That's what I yeah. want you to do. Must have been we, good. We, we looked hard everywhere. Yeah, and it was in the front, and finally we found it. Jack and I went up there, and she said, ma'am, I'm so sorry. We've been sold out before 8 o'clock every night. So, it must be yeah, good. It must be yeah. good. So, yeah. But I didn't, try, I, I didn't try much of the food. I wasn't – it wasn't that I didn't like it. Some of the lines were really long for food. It wasn't something I had to have. I've done the pizza fries. Um, I've done other HHN foods before, but, yeah. So any All anything right. else? No. No. Got your I fans? Think... Oh, ready? Yeah, this was... Do it. Do it, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, the same oh. Time. oh well, yeah, that was great. Yes, I... this souvenir <laughs> is so worth great. it. The best souvenir. So hot. It's so hot. Yeah, and it's such a cool design. Um, and there was a lot of merch, by the way, guys. So so, oh, you know, yeah, shop I want to away, say, shop that away, there's plenty of stuff. Yeah, that, what did you call that area? The tribute area? The tribute well, store. The tribute, we was, didn't talk about the tribute store. It was huge this year compared to last it year. It was like, great. I've only been last year. It was amazing this year. We have a lot of B-roll, depending on how yes, much Yes, yes, tribute store, a must do. Yeah. Super cool, yeah. themed it out to the max. Um, they had lots of stuff for each house this time, yeah. which I don't think they had last year. Right. Yeah. So yep. um, very, some very cool product. We'll have some uh, pictures and B-roll for you on that. Well, overall, a good night, a good event. Thanks, HHN32 crew, for joining us this evening. So, Shane, I think that's a wrap. So, in the meantime, uh, make all your moments magical. In Florida and beyond. See you, everyone. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for coming.